happening today, a second chance for some inmates at the El Paso County Jail. Through a partnership with Pikes Peak Community College, 18 men and women are graduating from the Growth and Leadership Life Skills Training Series. New size Katie Blaze in studio tonight. Today, she was there for that event, and this is in an effort to cut down on repeat offenders. Yeah, guys, that's right. Not only that, but to also give these people skills they can use to enter the workforce and drive positive change. The program focusing not on what they did, but where they're going moving forward. I've realized that uh, I was in a downward spiral, spiral until this time. The lives of inmates like Nathaniel Buckman are being transformed. I've realized that I can't define myself of where I've came from, but where I'm going. This realization coming after a 12-week training series that helps El Paso County CJC inmates grow, learn, and change with the goal of not returning to jail once they're released. The program focusing on a variety of subjects. Planning ahead, like crisis management. And business etiquette and customer service skills. The latter two huge for people like Sean Mays. I want to start my own barbershop and stuff like that. And with the completion of the program, Mays and several other participants are now graduating. When I first came into jail, you know, I was angry and kind of bitter and just feeling really discouraged. And now I'm confident and realize how much potential I have. For Shauna Cowden, I'm proud of myself. This is the first time I've ever graduated anything in my life. Lead facilitator Sarah Boats says the backbone of the program is to give participants a path and a focus. They articulate what they want from life and what matters to them and then we put them through a process to help them create an action plan that will hopefully take them far beyond the walls of the jail. That's what we're looking for and hopefully it's it's what they need so that they don't come back. Well, since the program started last August, I'm told close to 30 people have graduated. Some are taking the next step once they're released to participate in Career Boost, a non-credit workforce training program through Pikes Peak Community College. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Katie Blaze, News 5.